Well, <laughs> apparently the third time is a charm. Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabub.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Having a little bit of technical difficulties tonight. My Facebook Live didn't want to work and then it told me I needed to rotate my phone and that's not the case. And Gosh, it's almost like they don't think I know what I'm doing. But they're wrong. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everybody. And uh, yeah, welcome to November, right? I'm plugging my phone in here. So, oh, you know what? Oh, I hope that's working. Hang on. Oh, I've got it plugged into a different cable. So it should be. Whew. Yeah, all the things, right? Oh, that's a different cable. Hang on. Let's make sure. Okay. Whew. <laughs> it's all tricky, right? Hello, Nanette. Hello, Wendy. Welcome. I see everybody popping in here. We've got Barbara from Waterloo and Linda just got in. So I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Did anybody get to enjoy the extra hour of sleep this morning? I love this. I love this clock turn. In the spring, I don't like that one at all because that means we lose an hour of sleep. But today, extra sleep. Yay, hi, Patty Hall. And I see Linda's coming in from Connecticut and Sandy from Illinois. So yeah, I, um, I don't know that I really slept any longer than I would have, right? I was up, you know, fairly late last night. We Oh, we had a big party to go to. So my sister-in-law and her husband, um, hosted a turn back the clock party and they actually have a chef come in from their country club from the golf course where um he golfs well she does now too and um it was beautiful amazing hors d'oeuvres like very fancy hors d'oeuvres and they had bartenders there and uh it was just really fun Haley and jared and val and i went and there was a ton and a half of people there. Diane wants to know if Steve made it back home. No, he has not come home yet, but those guys are having some really good luck hunting. Steve got an 11 point buck, huge, huge, huge deer. Um, what else happened? Let's see, my friend Cindy, who's also one of my team members and she lives by my mom. Whoa, no. Okay, can you guys still see me? It just said trying to reconnect. I'm having internet problems tonight. I had to turn off my Wi-Fi and turn it back on. So just know that if we disappear, I will come back on if I can. You'll have to refresh your screen to find me again because it'll probably be a different video. But just give it a little bit. Don't, don't run off on me. <laughs> yeah, Debbie, a party. It was a really fancy party too. And I had an old-fashioned delightful. So yeah. Um, anyways, everybody's getting deer. Cindy got a buck. Her husband and her son both got like 10 pointer and a nine pointer on the same night. My brother Steve got a buck. He hunts right where I hunt. My husband is out in Nebraska right now with my brother and brother-in-law and my brother's uncle. And um, my brother got a buck, huge buck. So everybody's getting deer right now except Kelly. <laughs> but Kelly did see deer and that's all I can truthfully ask for. I have been bow hunting for I don't know how many years, like 20 years, and I have only gotten one deer. <laughs> Just one. So I am not a quitter. <laughs> But I did go hunting. I went to my mom's house. I didn't get to go out Friday night because it was way too windy. And deer just don't like that wind. It causes too much panic for them. But um, I, I had a doe come right down the trail. She was coming right up to me. And I was standing in my stand. So here I am. I'm standing in my stand. And I'm looking. And I'm watching. And I'm looking. And then I went like this. And she spotted me and bolted. So that was pretty cool. I mean, I wasn't going to shoot her anyways, or try to shoot her. But, um, and then I had a little spike buck come right up, walking right under my stand. And um, he came right up and then he stopped and he was like, they know something's not right. And then he turned around and went away. He didn't 
bolt like that doe did. And then I saw a bunch of deer in the field and I saw another deer go back behind me in the swamp. And it was just really fun. Um, if I see deer, that's a good night for me. That is a successful night. Oh, Sandy's grandson got a nine pointer. Woohoo! Good for him. That's awesome. I saw somebody else. I can't remember who it was, but their, um, I think it was a grandson got a really big buck too. So yay. It's hunting season all over the place. I have um, a friend I used to work with that's up in Minnesota right now. Him and his dad and some other guy they're hunting with got huge bucks. So whew, lots of activity. Anyways, I spent a few days with my mom, took her out for fish. We had old fashions. My mother is becoming a lover of Southern Comfort Old Fashions too. So that's her now, her favorite drink. <laughs> Um, what else did I do? I took, I had picked up some bedding and I emptied out our closet, um, with sheets and pillowcases. And I took those all to our, my, our summer home, the new one. And I got all the beds made. I thought I wrecked my knee. I don't know if I can explain this to you guys, but I was on the ladder on the top bunk bed and then I needed to get in the bunk bed so I could put the sheets on. And it's got like this countertop on the top of it. So you have to go over that to crawl into the bed. And I went to kind of heave myself up there because it's, you know, you got to kind of get yourself up there. <laughs> I was on the ladder. I heaved myself up there. And when I did, the top of my knee caught, how did that work? The top of my knee caught on that little countertop and I was heaving myself. So my body weight was like throwing me into the bunk. And it like yanked my leg down from my knee down. Whew. I like dropped over in that bunk and I just laid there for quite a while because it hurt so bad. I'm like, oh my Lord, what did I just do? How am I even going to get out of this bunk? I'm there all by myself. Nobody's going to hear you holler. My phone is down on the counter. Um, but I just laid there for a little while and then it stopped hurting and I can feel it every once in a while. It's not like bruised or anything and I, and I can walk fine, but every once in a while, like when I was laying in bed last night, I'm like, Oh, I can feel that little thing I did to my leg. So anyways, I'm sure I'll be fine. But at first I thought I like yanked a tendon or something. Who knows? You know, when you start getting older, things happen. Not good things either. <laughs> right? Yeah, you guys know. I know some of you know this. <laughs> Anyways, so that was my my weekend, my night last night. Oh, and then I have to tell you guys this. This is so adorable. So little Miss Val, she loves electronics, like loves electronics. And anytime she hears something beep, she's always like, whoo, something beeped. Where is it? A phone, a, you know, a notification, whatever, iPad. And so she just loves the electronics. And so we have, Haley and Jared and I all have um, baby games on our phones. We have them loaded. They're apps you can get for babies. And she plays them all the time. Well, she's gotten so good with these things. She will grab your phone, flip it up. Um, I don't know why she doesn't need a code to get into my phone. Like I have to put in a code if it doesn't recognize my face. But she can flip it up and start doing things. So she... Um, this morning, and she's done this before, I'll get these random text messages from either Haley or Jared that are all gibberish, blah, 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 blah. And I know it's her. And so I will, I will like take a picture of myself and send it back right away because I know she's on that phone. So we kind of have this little funny thing going. Well, lately she's been pushing, well, I should say that the one night she gibberish texted me and then I pushed FaceTime and she answers it. And I'm like, hi, Val, it's Granny. And she's like, oh, and she kisses the screen and blows kisses and giggles and whatever. Um, and she did that again this morning. I was FaceTiming with her, but she answered the phone on her own. No, she called me this morning on a FaceTime. And then she was so excited when she saw me. So it's really quite cute. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, these, and she's one and a half, right? One and a half, she's running a phone, she's FaceTiming, she's texting gibberish. <laughs> we have a good time. And then when it's time to hang up, she starts crying because her mom's like, no, we need to go now. And she like starts crying, she doesn't want. And she's talking, she's saying like, she can say like 30 words. 
and I keep grilling her like to say puppy and she says that say truck and then say papa and say mama and say baby and then I'll go say granny and she just nope well this morning she said Gigi so that's what it's gonna be Gigi and I'll take it it's so stinking cute anywho um John update I don't really have much to tell you about John. I was out in the driveway loading my vehicle up and he was loading stuff into his truck and we said hi. I saw him bring his Harley out of the garage. He's got a white Harley like Steve's. Bring it out of the garage, turn it around, back it back in and park it again. That's all I've got. That's all I've got for John. I haven't seen him. Um, I've been gone kind of a lot, you know. I go up to my mom's house and I still work all day, but then in the afternoon, about three o'clock, I go out and sit in a tree. So, um, yeah, not much happening with John. And um, what else can I tell you? I did some mystery stamping with my team today. That's always fun. I give them four mystery stamping clues. And the last one has the final details and they cut up the pieces of cardstock according to the dimensions and add, you know, a stamp set with matching ink pads and designer series paper. And then they make a card not knowing what the original card looks like. I think that'd be something kind of fun to do with you guys. And maybe I'll do that at some, at some point, but that's something that I do with my team because we have a team meeting on Tuesday. So I was doing mystery stamping the Sunday before our team meeting. And then I award a prize. Everybody who participates gets put in a drawing to win a prize. Yeah, Wendy says, fun mystery stamping. I know, it's so cool, right? We also have Stampin' Up! has their annual awards um, ceremony this starting this Friday. We're super excited about that. This is where they tell everybody how well they did throughout the year. And um, I'm looking forward to that. I am up for... Um, several awards, awards in every category. So yay, that's always exciting. We'll find that out Friday night. Um, I'm pretty sure that my numbers will be down this year because um, they just are. I've kind of, you know, pulled back a little bit as my team has grown. I need to focus on them a lot. And I love working with my team, which brings me to, we have a join special right now. For $75, you can become a discount shopper or you can build a business. It's completely up to you. Most of my team are discount shoppers and you can become a discount shopper for $75. You get to choose $125 in any product you want for $75, no shipping. All you have to do is pay tax on that. And then you get to be part of something bigger, part of a group of people who love all stamping everything, right? <laughs> I'm watching my messages come in. I see Haley just came, came in and she said, no, she said, you're granny and you're a granny. <laughs> I know I'm a granny, Haley. I love being a granny. I'm going to pull you guys up on my iPad here. I had you up earlier, but then it shuts down and you know, it doesn't, doesn't like to cooperate with me. We're going to see how well we can do tonight. Oh, look, there I am. I'm right there. Yeah. We're going to pull that up so I can see your comments when I turn this around. And I'm going to turn this upside down because last time they were gray and that didn't work out so good. I couldn't see them. Um, yeah, so if you want to join my team, it's really fun. I have a ton of things that you get to participate in. Mystery stamping is just one of them. We do a team meeting every month that is virtual. So just like you're watching me here, you come and watch the team meeting. You can pop on on Zoom. Or you can watch it on Facebook. You get to participate. I have a show and tell. I do demonstrations. Other um, team members do demonstrations. It's just a ton of fun. And you get all my online classes free once you've placed your first discount order. You get a 20% discount on all your orders. You can get up to a 38% discount depending on how much you do with it. Um, I have prizes team. I, I do about 15 door prizes every month for those that come and watch the team meeting. It's just fun. It's super, super fun. All my online, online classes free. All the tutorials I just posted on my blog um, today, those are all free to my team. So lots and lots of benefits. 
to being a discount shopper or you can build a business or you can do something in between. It's completely up to you. But this special, join for $75 and choose $125 worth of product, lasts until the end of the month. So if you have any questions on that, please don't hesitate to ask me. You will not be disappointed and you will never say, oh, I wish I didn't do that because it's so much fun. I guarantee it. Okay. Um, Patty wants to know if you can join if you already were one. If you are no longer active, you can rejoin. Now, you can rejoin with me if you were under me. And Patty, I know that you were. You can rejoin with me right away. If you were under somebody else and you're no longer active, meaning that you have been dropped from the system, um, you have to wait 90 days before you can switch. Like I know some people are direct to Stampin' Up! because the person that was above them quit. I think there's a special deal for that that you can switch sooner than 90 days. But um, if you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to contact me. I am always happy to fill you in and also to help you make decisions with what's best for you. Because I, first of all, I don't want to be known for taking people away from their teams. That's not, that's not who I am. That's a whole, gosh, I don't have a nice word for it. It's not good. <laughs> like that's not who I want to be known for. But if, you, um, if you've lost your team leader, if you're direct to Stampin' Up!, you should definitely be on a team that is active and having fun. So that's, I guess, where I'm going with that. Okay, um, Eden's Garden, you guys. Eden's Garden is in full swing. This is now available to everybody to order. Um, Barb, Dina, and I have an online class going with the Eden's Garden. And you can get the entire product bundle. We're also going to be including this punch in our online class. So if you have this, great. If you don't, you can add it on. The um, online class where you get all of the products, the bundle, the designer paper, the cotton paper, and the gems, as well as some gold shimmer ribbon is $116. You can add this punch on for an additional $25. Um, when you do that option one, that's an option one online class, you get the online class for free and pre-cut cardstock pack for nine cards. Woohoo! Yeah. And um, if you already have Eden's Garden, we have option number two, which includes the gems, gold shimmer ribbon, and a half a pack of gold foil. That's $45. All of that information is on my blog. So make sure that you check that out. Online classes are really fun. We cut the card stock for you. So what, what couldn't be fun about that, right? Um, here's a couple of the cards that I've done. I think we did these last week, right? This was a fun fold. you right on the back. And this is really cool because it folds flat and fits in an envelope. Yay! And then this was another one. This was a fun technique where we only cut out half of a die so that it flips back and forth like that. Isn't that cool? This is the Eden's Garden. This is the gold shimmer ribbon that comes with the online class. Yay. Okay, so I wanted to let you guys know about that. Let me set that off over there. Oh, I know what else I wanted to show you. Where did those cards go? Um, I, hang on, I know I'm out of the camera here. I currently have an online class or a kit class going right now. And I'm just gonna pop some of these cards up here. I've got one, two, oh, that's the same. Oh, I'm missing a card. Read that other one. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, an envelope. Yay! So I've got a whole class using the sweets and treats. Now, I don't show my cards for my classes. You don't get to see those. They're exclusive in my tutorial so that I don't ever show them when I'm on anything but these are really fun super cute little sneak peek right there if you're interested in that that kit is mm, i want to say someplace around i think it's 4250 or something like that all the information is on my blog so make sure you check that out what else do i have to tell you nothing don't let me forget to show you my mail i actually found some mail that was on my desk underneath my paper pumpkin kit and i didn't realize it i always well almost always open my mail when i get it 
and then I put it in a drawer right behind me so that I can show it and share it with you guys. Show it to you and share it with you. And um, for some reason, some mail didn't get in my drawer. So I'll be showing that tonight too. And I have a um, pretty neat gift in there that was sitting on my table. So for those of you that sent me those, I am so sorry. Like Haley came over today and she was helping me and I picked up something and went, whoa, what is this? It was my mail. Okay. We have one more um, item that I want to tell you about. Bingo. What does this have to do with bingo? My bingo is going to be on December 1st. It is a Wednesday night. It goes from, mm, it starts at seven, I think. Do you still have blog hop for paper pumpkin? I do not, Marsha. I do not have a blog hop for the paper pumpkin. That was one of the things that I had to let go when my team grew so quickly and to a size that I need to spend more time with my team members. So um, I do not do a paper pumpkin blog hop anymore. I have other blog hops, but not that one. So anyways, bingo. We are going to be using this designer series paper. And you're like, oh, it's going to be all about Christmas. Nope, nope, it's not. Actually, I took a look at this and I'm going to be using this leafy one and this little these little like gumballs and this little pattern and maybe this little pattern that has nothing to do with Christmas. So I'm challenging myself to see what I can come up with. We are going to be using this bundle. These are the Flowers of Friendship bundle for bingo. Back on your feet, which is always one of my favorites. I love making cards with this stamp set. And I'm going to be featuring some thank you cards with the snowflake wishes and the so many snowflake dies. So bingo is $35. Again, it's going to be on December 1st. I will have registration up this week, probably Tuesday-ish, Wednesday morning. <clears throat> $35 to play bingo. And then you can add on any of these things to your bingo registration. So just wanted to let you know about that. Watch for that coming this week. Also, who is enjoying my 12 Weeks of Holidays series that I'm sending out in emails? I know I've been hearing from a lot of you that you just love the 12 Weeks of Holidays. So we started out with Fall Halloween and now we're getting into Christmas. I have a whole series of emails that are going out. Each email has two, I should say one, two, three, four projects in it. Um, there's um, a card and also another item, whether it's a treat holder or framed art um, that is in each post. So you get a card in a 3D and a card in a 3D. And I'm doing two weeks at once because I always get off to a late start. Did you like that? <laughs> I always get off to a late start. That 12 weeks before Christmas just always catches me off guard. So... Oh, good. Everybody's saying everybody's loving the 12 weeks. Now, if you're not getting my 12 weeks of holidays and you would like to, all you need to do is sign up for my newsletter. And I'm trying to think. There are links on my blog, I believe, at the bottom towards my signature of every single blog post. You'll find a um, sign up for my newsletter link. Also, if you're watching later on YouTube, it's usually... Under the video is a description. It has a link to my blog post for these projects and then all kinds of links. One of them is to sign up for my newsletter. So I hope you'll do that. It's completely free. Um, I keep you updated on all things Stampin' Up! And I love to share creative inspiration in projects. So next we have giveaways. Woohoo! We have for commenting, so if you're new to me, please make sure that you leave a comment. It can be anything from where you're from to just hello. I have Barbara Savoring from Waterloo, Iowa, Whale of a Time Sequins. These are so, so pretty. And this is for her comment that she left on my Facebook Live last Sunday. So Barbara, I will have these in the mail to you tomorrow. Congratulations. Also, for sharing. Now there's some place on your screen right now where you can share this video. Sharing helps me grow my business and I so appreciate it when you need when you do that. So, for sharing my video last week, 
I have a time-worn type 3D embossing folder and a roll of our gold shimmer ribbon. I think this is called, yeah, gold gold shimmer ribbon. I think this is on back order right now. We haven't been able to get it for a long time, but I happen to have some. So embossing folder, gold shimmer ribbon. The winner is Jolene Kent. Yay, Jolene! I do not have your address, so you're going to need to um, private message me on Facebook or email me at kelly at estampabove.com, K-E-L-L-Y, at estampabove.com and give me your address so I can get this out in the mail to you. Last, but certainly never least, is ordering. When you place an order with me, you also get entered in a drawing to win fabulous product. I have a Christmas to remember sentiment set. I think maybe we're going to be using this tonight. I know I just used it today. Um, this is a fantastic stamp set. It's part of the suite of products with the painted Christmas. Oh my gosh. Fabulous, fabulous sentiments for the holidays. And for placing an order in the last week, Darcy McKinnon of Columbus, Indiana. This is going to be on its way to you. And I do have your address. So I'm going to set these off to the side so they don't get buried in all the fun we're about to have. <laughs> and I lose them. Nobody wants to lose the prizes. All right. I think we're ready to flip things around and get started stamping. Who's ready to stamp with me? Ah! What are you guys drinking tonight? I have my strawberry lemonade. I had to switch over to, what is that tea in those bottles? Like something brew or something like that. I had to switch over to tea for a little bit because my order got messed up and I didn't get my strawberry lemonades. I know, right? Like, what are you going to do? But it came in the mail now, so I'm, I'm all good. Yeah. <laughs> and I've been not eating so good. Steve is gone and he really didn't leave me with much food. Yeah, usually he like makes some food and he didn't. So I've not been eating very good, meaning that I'm eating crap. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, Friday night fish fry. And I went and got a warm pear salad, which isn't that bad. But then I had the creme brulee because I always have to have a creme brulee. <laughs> like always, it's my favorite. I need to learn how to make it or maybe not, right? It's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Debbie's got water. Tracy's got orange spice tea. Oh, that sounds good. I like tea. Judy's ready. Judy's just ready. She's not drinking anything. She is ready to stamp. We got Sandy with water. Water just sucks the joy out of my life. <laughs> I know most people like water, but I do not. <laughs> Water's good for you. I know. All right. <clears throat> One more time. There we go. Okay, we're going to flip. Now, if anything happens to us, refresh your screen, come back into my group, and I should be live again. Like I said, I've been having um, a weak internet signal, which is just a little bit scary. It's a lot scary because the internet makes or breaks me, right? <laughs> like, it can ruin my life almost completely. Okay, you guys. This, of course, is my blog. You will find all the projects we're going to make tonight, all the projects that I ever make for you guys on here on my blog, plus other projects. So you may want to just go there and check it out when we're done tonight because it's pretty cool. This is my current host code. Now, when you go to my online store and you're putting stuff in your cart, when you click on to go look at your cart, right on that screen, there's some place that says host code. And then you click in the little box and you type this in. And you only do that if your order's under $150. If your order's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have them. But if your order's under $150, nobody gets any rewards unless you use this code. And then I get the rewards and I use it to order stuff I can give away, replenish my card stock, all that good stuff. So it's kind of a win-win for everybody. Now, before we go too much further... I wanted to show you guys, this is the November paper pumpkin kit. Do you see that little snowman guy? He's got a little bag of popcorn in there. 
These are stinking adorable. In this monthly kit is going to be enough supplies to create nine oversized treat boxes with coordinating food safe bags. So I don't think it's going to be all snowmen. I think it's going to be several different. Oh yeah, it says um, bright festive colors, classic Christmas sentiments, charming snowman, and more festive designs. You'll have everything you need to make eye-catching treat packages that are sure to spread Christmas cheer. Now, these are going to be fantastic. I'm thinking that this would be cute to put some candy in with a gift card. I, I don't know. It looks big enough to handle it. But even if you don't like making 3D things, you're going to have all of these die-cut things that you can make cards with or Christmas tags. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. You can see right here, you have until November 10th to order this particular kit. Now, what always happens is that after November 10th, people start getting their kits and they start making really cute stuff with this and people see it online and then they contact me and say, Kelly, I want to get that snowman kit. And I'm like, nope, too late. And it's the truth. You have to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin prior to the 10th of the month to get that month's kit. You can't get it afterwards. So just want everybody to know this. This is super cute. This also makes a fantastic gift for the holidays. Like I take my Paper Pumpkin kit and when I'm done, I usually make a couple things out of it. I do demonstrations with it. I take it up north and give it to my niece. She's 18 years old and she loves these paper pumpkin kits. So it makes a fantastic um, gift. Molly loves to make the paper pumpkin kits too. I, I, um, I kept one here for Molly and I took two up north for um, Emma. Fantastic gift idea. So holidays are coming. Give a gift that gives back. Oh, that was kind of sweet, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, let me move some of this stuff out of my way. I'm gonna change my glasses because I need to see what I'm doing. Grab one of my bins here. I think what I'm gonna start with, I've got a couple cards for you tonight. One is a technique, and it's actually the card that I just sent out for all my technique club members. So I'm gonna show you how that was made. And I'll talk to you a little bit about my technique club because it's really fun. Okay, we are going to be using Old Olive and Real Red Ink as well as Memento. And then I've got the Red Basic Rhinestones. Oh, what's this called? Star Cross Folder. Is that right, you guys? Let me look quick. I don't remember. I always forget that one. I should put a little label on it because you guys know how forgetful I am. It's pretty embarrassing. But we just get used to it. Star cross embossing folder for the win. Winning. Okay, star cross embossing folder. Now this folder is really cool because it has plaid for this half and stars for this half. And it makes for a really neat design on your layers. So it's pretty cool. Okay, then I'm going to be using everything cheer with my Holly Jolly Wishes. I just love this stamp set. I think it's super fun. I've actually given a couple of them away recently. One was to um, for our team meeting. Uh, this was one of my giveaways. So um, this has been a real favorite. Um, Delivering Cheer is in the mini catalog. We're going to be using Old Olive Dark and Real Red Dark Stampin' Blend markers. And I've got my stamp set mounted and ready to rock. So let's get our layers out here. All right, we have a real red card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. Oops, hang on, I gotta, I gotta look at some things, just a minute. Oh, you know what I did? Hang on, I put the wrong card away. Hang tight. Um, where am I gonna find that? Right here. Nope. I lied. We're going to be measuring. I had all my measurements, but I don't know where they went. They should be on the back of my card, but they're not. So let me look one more time here. Nope. Nope. No dice. Okay. So eight and a half by five and a half. Then we have 
two layers of basic white. These are both four by five and a quarter. And this is what I need to measure. We have another basic white. I actually have two of them here in case I mess up. <laughs> do you guys do that? Um, this is two and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then real red that is two and a half by four and a half. And then I decided to use the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. And let me grab that. Here it is right here. I love these traditional Christmas colors. I just think they're so much fun. They go with, you know, anything Christmassy, right? So we're gonna be using that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to be making our Technique card. Card base, fold it in half. Oh, somebody asked, was Steve back yet? No, Steve is supposed to be coming back um, on Wednesday. That's when he's supposed to be coming back. Huh, okay. So here's our card base. And then we're going to take one of our four by five and a quarter inch white layers and we're gonna put it in our embossing folder and run that through our embossing machine. And it's gonna look like this. Ah, isn't that cool? Star crossed embossing folder. Oh, did I tell you guys we're gonna use this postage punch too? I think I forgot to tell you that, but we're gonna use that too. Okay, so here's our front layer. This other white layer is for the inside. So we'll get that stamped right away. And I've got the Merry Christmas to you from the Holly Jolly Wishes. This is a fantastic sentiment set for Christmas too. I really love, I use this one and that um, A Christmas to Remember all the time. They have just about everything in them I could possibly need. So here's our Merry Christmas to you, yay. And I've also got a half inch strip scrap of designer series paper. So we're gonna put that right on, well, let's just do this. I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue right down here and add this half inch strip. Love to do this. It's a great way to use up your little scraps that you've got laying all over the place, right? And it really makes your projects coordinate. Okay, we can put this right inside our card. I'm using liquid glue for any of you that might be new to me. I love liquid glue. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room so you can move things around without like ripping them apart. If you don't get something straight, you can move it around for a little bit, right? And then we'll go right away with this one. Now, when I'm using an embossing folder, I kind of like to get my glue around that outside edge because sometimes it can get a little wavy and I wanna make sure it's gonna lay down nice on my card front. There we go. Oh my gosh, doesn't that just look so pretty? I love this folder. Okay, um, here's my red piece. I need to grab a scrap of white. Yeah, I need a scrap of white. So we're going to take this old olive and the sentiment from the Delivering Cheer. And we're gonna stamp that with the Old Olive ink. And then I'm gonna punch it out with my postage punch. I just wanted a label punch and um, I love punches because they're quick and easy. Like I'll go for a punch every time over dyes. Not that, I mean, dyes are wonderful and you get a whole bunch of different things in dyes, but uh, I love a punch. It's quick, it's simple, there's no fussing around and all the things. Okay, so let's get that back over there. Now, we're gonna take our white, our white layer, this was our two and a quarter by four and a quarter, I think it was. Let's measure it because I don't wanna tell you dumb things. Yeah, two and a quarter by four and a quarter. Okay, we're right. Ooh, hang on. I need to, I've got um, a, like a, it's not flannel, but I got this shirt on 
and it's a little warm and I need to take it off because I'm starting to get really hot. And Wendy, don't worry because I have oh, the cooling spray that you gave me. Oops, hang on, my bracelets. Look at, I'm, I'm all, like, I'm stripping for you guys and you can't even enjoy it. <laughs> and don't worry, I have my cooling, hot flash cooling mist right here. So let's try it out. Whew. And I did not get it in my eyes. Don't get it in your eyes, it burns. All right, so we are going to, we're going to take this little lady with our, did you guys like that? A little stripping going on. I shouldn't do that. This is a family show. Our little lady with our skirt. And I am going to add her right there with the Memento Black ink. And then we're going to come in with the pile of presents. I just love putting these things together. I think they're so fun. I'm going to have to pull this down here so I can see. Oh, yay. I did it. Matches up. It, they're, they're photopolymers, so you can see through them, which makes it really nice, right? Okay. Now I'm going to... Oh, don't close up your black ink. We're not done yet. We're going to take this little skirt in our black ink, and we're going to stamp it on this plaid, just like that. Do you guys know what I'm doing? <gasps> I'll bet some of you do. I am going to do a technique called paper piecing. And what that is, it's where you take designer series paper and you stamp images on it and punch them out, die cut them, cut them out, whatever you need to do, and you put them back in place. So for example, let's say that we had a little kitten. You could stamp the whole kitten on like, let's say a floral pattern and stamp it, cut it out, die cut it, punch it, whatever you need to do, and then put it onto your layer that you've already stamped for your card. And they call that paper piecing. And it's a very old technique. And it's a fun technique because, oh my gosh, right? Your designer paper, the sky's the limit in whatever patterns and all kinds of good stuff that you could possibly want. Okay, so here's our little skirt. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna just place that little skirt in place. And now we have this fun, Christmassy gingham skirt. And isn't that super cute? <laughs> okay, so for the rest of this, well, let me get this closed up. For the rest of this, we are going to do just a tiny bit of coloring. I've got my real red dark marker here. And of course you could color these up. This doesn't have to be Christmassy. You could use different color for your skirt and you can make these presents all different colors. It's completely, you know, up to your discretion. This doesn't have to be Christmas. But I'm making it Christmas because why? Because it's November. <laughs> it just seems like a good thing to do. What do you guys think? Is it a good choice? Um, I'm gonna color in all these ribbons. And then instead of coloring all of these, oops, I missed one. I want to do this bottom package right here in red. Instead of doing all of these packages, I'm going to leave some of them white. And I'm not doing anything fancy with these markers here. I'm just coloring because it's just easy. You could do shading and all that good stuff if you wanted to. And I forgot, I also used the um, ivory marker for skin tone for her arms. And her legs. Boy, she's got nice legs, doesn't she? This party that we went to last night, it said right on the invitation, no boots and no heels. <laughs> I thought that was interesting. So I, of course, had boots on, but I took my slippers along because nobody wants to make the hostess mad, right? Okay, so isn't that cute? Super duper cute. Okay, we're gonna take this and we're gonna add it to our red layer. Just like that. I think I need to 
move that over just a little bit. See how that slid for me? I love, love my um, liquid glue. Okay, then we're gonna put this on the front of our card. I'm not gonna pop this up on dimensionals and I'm gonna set it right down in the bottom. So I'm looking at my bottom white margin and my right white margin to make sure they're the same. Then we're gonna take this layer and put that up on dimensionals. So let me get out my little basket of goodness. Might need those. Who knows if I need black. Here's some minis. We're good to go. Got my calculator because math is hard. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to do dimensionals. Here's my take your pick tool. Oh, here it is. I was going to say, Haley, did you take my take your pick tool? She did use it earlier today. So Haley came over today. She, she wanted a little creative break. And she came over and she made some cards for me because I have... Um, our team's members that are going to um, on stage, attending on stage next weekend, I have a live that I do for that group of demonstrators on my team. And we are going to be using a new stamp set. Oh, here's one of them. Have you guys seen this yet? In the moment. We've got in the moment and then a floral set that I don't know where it is, but that's the one that Haley used both of them. She made me a couple cards for that live. And oh my gosh, I love it when she designs cards for me because um, we have kind of similar styles and she always does a phenomenal job. And of course, you guys have seen her work. She's oh, And she said, oh, she wishes she had time to scrapbook some Val pictures. But of course, you know, life is crazy. So three red rhinestones. What do you guys think of that? Isn't that pretty? Super. Yes. And Judy says the stamp set is so versatile. I know. There's so many different things in here. I did this in fall. So I made a fall card with that and I already sent it out. I should have kept it. But And here's a, here's a tree. Here's like a little... This lady goes with this one. This one goes with this one. Um, this one can go with that one. Uh, lots of good. Oh, look. What is that? Is that little decorations for the boots? I think that's decorations for the boots. Like, um, what do they call those? Those leg warmers. Oh, I didn't even think, I didn't even see that. Yay. Okay. So the only other thing that I need to do here is grab an envelope. Gosh, last week before I left to go to my mom's house, I got like a million things done. I sent out all my thank you cards to my customers. I sent, a, I had an ordering incentive last month where if you ordered, I don't know what it was, $75, you got some embellishments from me. I sent out all of those. This needs to be two and a half by six. And I think mine's a little bigger. Just It's just a scrap but I wanna make a matching envelope. I got all those out. I got all of my Technique Club cards cut and my helper Brooke makes those for me. She is phenomenal. Like, oh, I love, she does really good work, which is what I require. And um, she turns it around really fast. Those are all out in the mail. So if you're in my Technique Club, your cards are in the mail, you're gonna be getting this card. And I will show you the technique instruction card here in just a second. Look, I could, I could probably get another skirt out of here, right? So we better save that. <laughs> we can't throw that away. Here's our cutie patootie card. I just love this. I think it's the sweetest. And then, hang on, I'll show you. This is the technique card. Now this doesn't look anything like this, but what we did here is we just stamped these flowers and then we stamped the flower again on, this is some peach with white polka dot designer paper, and cut it out and put it back on here, just like we did here. We stamped this on our white layer, stamp on our white layer. We then stamped it on our designer paper and cut it out and put it back on there. And then this tells you how to do it. You're gonna choose an outline image. It can be clothing, the body of an animal, or an outline flower. Stamp the image with black ink on a small print designer series paper and cut, die cut, or punch. 
stamp image again on background layer and adhere the cut image over the top. And I'm telling my Technique Club members that there's a video on 11-7, which is today. That was good planning, right? Um, that you can find on my blog. So they can go down to November 7th and they're gonna find a, um, a video, this video, showing them how to do this. So super, super fun. Now, what is my Technique Club? So my Technique Club, you would place an order in my online store. Um, I think the order minimum is $25. So a minimum $25 order each month for six consecutive months. At the end of that time frame, you will get a $30 credit to order anything that you want. And each month while you are in the Technique Club, you get a card, not an envelope. I mean, it comes in an envelope. You get a card with the Technique and also an instruction card with the instructions on it and the Technique sample on the instruction card. So after a while, you collect a whole bunch of these and you're gonna have a, just a ton of Technique ideas. Here is another one. Now, this card was designed by my team member, Jody Peterson. I, I'm pretty sure this, I'm sure this is Jody's card. But our technique for that month was torn edge. And that is a technique to tear the edges on stuff. I think it's very kind of shabby chic looking. Here's the instructions. And again, we've got the torn edge and it says add an interesting look to your layers with the torn edge. Control the tear by placing your left hand fingers along the area you want to tear opposite for left handers. Tear with your right hand and manipulate to create the edge shape you're looking for. Great for card layers or a snow hill. There's a video on 924 on my blog that shows how to do a torn edge. So that's what my Technique Club is all about. And if anybody is interested in that, um, pop me an email. I'll send you all of the details. You can also find them in the right-hand column of my blog. There's an online technique club. Click that. It'll show you all the details. So there we go. Here's card number one. Yay! That was fun. Fun and easy. And now, do you guys have like a million ideas running through your head? Like, okay, what line art images can I use to do paper piecing technique? Like, that's how I think. When I see something new, it's like, oh my gosh. So what can I do that with, right? That's how I operate. Um, this would be another set that you could do. You could like, you could like, and this is coming out in the spring mini catalog, by the way. This is a, this came with my on stage stuff. That's another benefit of becoming a discount shopper, joining my team, is we get to order stuff early. We get to attend Stampin' Up! events. They're virtual right now, but at some point they'll be back in real life. But you could do her jeans, you could do her shirt. Um, this shirt might be a little trickier to do, but I would like cut it up here and then have her hair on the shirt, right? On your floral print or whatever. But line art images are the kind of images that you want to do this paper piecing technique with. Lots of fun. Okay, let me move all this stuff out of my way so we can get to our fun fold. Who's excited about a fun fold? I love fun folds. You guys, do you know that about me? I'm not sure if you know that about me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you do. Okay, I'm gonna put all this stuff over to the side. Oh, hello. Let me show you the other cards that I have that I didn't get rid of already. These are swap cards that I received and look at those red rhinestones on that tree. Is that not just the cutest? Yeah, love this. This is a really fun card. And then here's another one. And this is where I got the idea for this, is I'm like, oh, this would be great for paper piecing, right? And this uses the Whimsy and Wonder Designer Series paper. Yeah, very, very cute, right? Love these. Okay, next card. Fun fold. Okay, we are going to bring out all of our ink pads. Okay, on a second. And we're going to be using the Christmas season and the Christmas to remember. I'm going to be using this beautiful cherry cobbler and gold ribbon. This is a metallic ribbon. It's half inch. This is so pretty. It was on back order for a long time, but I'm pretty sure it's back in the store now. 
So if you weren't able to get your hands on that, I think you can now. I've got the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. I love this whole sheet of rhinestones because here's a full one. <laughs> it looks prettier. You get so many different colors, right? And there's big ones and little ones. I love these. This is just a good value. All right, and here comes my stamps. Oh, and uh, we're using the Painted Christmas Designer Series paper for this card. So, oh, and I've got Winkastella. Don't let me forget to use the Winkastella. And I do have dimensions for this card. Gosh, that's so strange, because I looked at that other card earlier today, and I thought I saw my post-it note on the back, and now it's not there. So, I don't know. I don't know what happens to things, right? Okay, here we go. Got all the things happening. I'm going to move this away. Um, Christmas season and Christmas to remember is a whole suite. You get uh, 14 stamps in this one, 9 stamps in that one, and then, let's see if I can move this out of the way so I can see what's going on here. 19 different dies in here. This is a really good die set. It's got all these labels in it as well as the um, dies to cut out these images. So it's a very, very cool set of dies. Okay, let's move this out. Um, the other thing we're going to be using, Pear Pizzazz Early Espresso Crumb Cake and Cherry Cobbler Ink. So what I've got here, let's do our envelope right away. I've got my two and a half, two and a half by six inch designer series paper. See how this is not Christmassy? That's why I'm going to use it for bingo. I think it's going to be really fun to design with. Bingo, by the way, has five cards. And we do, oops, we do um, a YouTube live and play bingo in between each of the cards. So we have four games of bingo and we make five cards and then you get a make and take packet for those five cards as well as product and I'm pretty sure I'm using the um, holiday rhinestones you'll get in your pack for $35 you get all of this plus the opportunity to win gift certificates when you play bingo in between and it's just a lot of fun but the five cards bingo is fun but I like making the five cards <laughs> It is kind of what I do, right? Yeah. Okay. Isn't that pretty? There's our envelope. So we've got that ready to roll. Next, what we've got here is we have a piece of thick basic white. And this is four and a quarter by five and a half. Then we've got a piece of cherry cobbler. This is four by ten and a half. And another piece, this is basic white. This is thick white. This is basic white. This is three and three quarters by five. And then I have this designer series paper. This is three and five eighths by five inches. And don't forget, if you have trouble with your eighths, because math is hard and measuring is part of math, um, you'll find this on my blog. You can grab it and print it out. But I have this hanging right on my wall so I can share this with you guys. This is... Three and five eighths, so that would be an eighth past the half. Oops, oh, look what I did. Dang it. Oh, there we go. I got it. I got to hang that right back up on my wall there. Okay, so first things first, we are going to take our basic white layer, the smaller of the two, with our cherry cobbler ink. And we're going to stamp, have a holly jolly Christmas with cherry cobbler ink. And I'm going to stamp it right down here in the bottom corner. So that's what I've got right there. And then you're going to need um, some white scraps. I'm going to stamp this up right away. This is one of the labels in our dies. Let me move this because we all know how fun red ink is. Do you guys ever like get away <laughs> Denise says bingo night is a lot of fun with Kelly. Thank you, Denise. I know a lot of my bingo players are on here, and we do have a blast, don't we? Yeah, we know how to have fun. So here's all the labels. Look at all these labels. You get this big label. You get the smaller one. You get this one. You got this one. This is like an amazing set of dies. All these labels. And then all of these. There's more all of these that cut out all the little images. Now, 
There's also these little pieces. These make slits in like the tag so you can put ribbon through it. So that's what those are. These are ribbon slots, ribbon slots. That's what those little things are. Okay, let me set this over here. So I've already cut out this particular shape out of basic white. And then I cut out a cherry cobbler out of this big label. Okay, so I'm just gonna set these back over to the side. Oh, and somebody was talking about the, um, oh, look how dirty that is. It's like really dusty. I shouldn't show that to people. <laughs> the magnetic parts tray. You can get these at Home Depot, at Harbor Freight. They're really inexpensive, but um, I, I moved mine and I didn't know where it was, but when you're working with especially smaller dies, you can keep this next to your die machine and just throw that, throw your dies in there so they don't get shuffled under something and get lost, right? So I found mine, whoever reminded me, thank you, because I found it. All right, we're gonna stamp our sentiment on here with, again, our cherry cobbler ink. Did I use cherry cobbler? Yeah, I did. Okay, we're gonna go with cherry cobbler. We're gonna pray that I can get this straight. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna get a little louder because I'm not loud enough, right? Said nobody ever. I've got kind of a pretty big mouth. My husband always says, you're so loud. I'm like, meh. Leave me alone. Do you hate that? <laughs> you're so loud. It's like buzz off. <gasps> okay. So um, I think I stamped that the wrong way. And I did. So we're going to do it this way because I want it to be a little bit longer. <laughs> and I got it so straight too. Do you hate it when that happens? Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, I did it again. Whew. Oh, really pressing my luck there. Okay, and we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this label right away. And then we're going to get to our fun fold part. But yes, if I ever am doing like a live, I do a lot of Zoom meetings and stuff like that. If I'm ever doing a meeting or I'm on here live, Steve, if I don't close my, my door to my office, he will come up here and close the door because I'm too loud. It's like, well, I want to make sure everybody can hear me. <laughs> Judy says we love your mouth. I love you, Judy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's cute. Okay, now we have to do a little bit of scoring. So I've got my paper trimmer in here. This is our cherry cobbler layer, and it's four by ten and a half. We're going to score it at five and a quarter. Okay, so five and a quarter. That doesn't look right. You know what? I bet you I didn't cut this. Hang on. Was that? This is not ten and a half. What happened? Hang on. I got lots of cherry cobbler. <laughs> we'll just grab another piece. Here we go. Okay, we're, we'll try this. We'll do it the right way this time. How about that? <laughs> we're gonna go four inches by 10 and a half. I'm like, oh, that doesn't look right, right? There we go. And then we are going to get that cutting blade out of the way. We're gonna score that at five and a quarter. And then it's gonna look great. Yeah, this looks much better. I was like, that doesn't look big enough. So there's our, just in half. We're scoring it right in half. And then, oops, hang on, let me get that out of there. We are going to take this. This is gonna be the front of our card right here. We're gonna score from here to here. Oops, oops, hang on. My um, scoring blade just came out. There we go. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna line up that very pointy tip and the corner that's right on the fold down here in your track. And we're gonna score that. So now it looks just like this and it folds just like that, okay? And I'm gonna burnish that edge. 
we go. Now, we can put the inside of our card in here because we did stamp it and it's right. <laughs> I'm get that little glue goober out of there. Yes, yeah, so anyway, Steve's coming home on Wednesday and I'm thinking he's probably going to pack up and head right up to my mom's house for some more bow hunting because he's kind of a maniac. And I will probably head up there with him if I can. Like, I've got a lot of things coming up. <laughs> I've got a lot of classes to prepare for, so I may have to stay home. But we'll see. Okay, now... Here's the cool idea. This is going to be a diagonal easel card, and it's just really that simple, you guys. You know, you've got uh, a half a sheet of cardstock. This is a little bit smaller, and I'll tell you why. This um, basic white thick layer that's four and a quarter by five and a half, I wanted a background behind my card. So that's what that piece is for, and I just, popped in a white piece there and I thought that would look really cool, right? And this is going to be an easel card, but my easel is going to be a little bit different. Then I decided I needed some designer paper and I'm like, how am I going to put designer paper in a triangle? Well, if you take it and measure it and cut it just a little bit smaller, I see that I didn't cut it quite the right size. So let me trim this off a little bit. Oops, sorry. I'm thinking that an eighth of an inch needs to come off. So if this is five, it needs to be four and seven eighths. And then I'll, I'll fix these dimensions that I gave you because I do not want to be lying to anybody. So what I did is, yeah, I, I made it smaller than my um, tray cobbler layer. So now it is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths on the designer paper. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it at a diagonal. So I'm putting the tippy top corner in the channel and the tippy bottom corner in the channel. Hang on to it. Don't let it move. Cut. And now you can actually have enough to make two of these cards. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to put it right down here. And now you're going to have the same border all the way around this piece. Isn't that cool? That's how you do that. That's how you figure out how to do that. All right. I'm going to glue this on. Let me have some stamping and die cutting to do. And then I'm going to show you what I used for an easel on the inside because it's I thought it was pretty cool. Haley was here and I'm like, what do you think of this? She's like, I think that's really neat. So it is really neat. Okay, so here's our easel. Okay, isn't that pretty already? The colors are just beautiful. I'm gonna set this aside because we can use that for something else. Where did my envelope go? Um, oh, right here. Okay, I'll set that over, over here too. All right, then I'm gonna grab my little scraps. I've got all these scraps here. I save all of my, oh, that's a thick white. I don't want to use that to stamp on. Okay. And where did my piercing mat go? Right here. So now we're going to stamp up all of our little elements. And, whoops. I've got pear pizzazz. I think I told you this already, right? Pear pizzazz. Gosh, you guys, we've got 521 people watching. That is like a holy cow number. For those of you that may have come in late, please click on that share button and share this video right to your profile. That'll really help me grow my business, and I so appreciate it. It'll also get you entered in a drawing for fabulous product. Okay, I had to take a drink. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do some pine cones. So there's a thick pine cone image and a like a more detailed pine cone image. The thicker one is your background. And I've got crumb cake in here and I need two pine cones. So one, two, just like that. And now we're gonna take the smaller and we're gonna go in the early espresso and we're gonna stamp right over top and that gives you that detail and definition. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I love it. Okay, then we need one little sprig, so this is like an evergreen sprig, and we're gonna do that in our Pear Pizzazz ink. 
um, we're gonna do this little branchy deal in crumb cake and we need two of those. So I'm gonna do, oh, you know what? I found out that if you do the berries before the branch, it's actually easier to line up. So let's do that. I'm gonna do, and I'll see if I can line these up on here. Oh, I did pretty good. Hang on. Um, here comes my crumb cake. It was just easier to see those berries through here and then get those little stems all lined up. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> okay. And then let's grab another piece of white here. We need two of these sprig images. And of course you can do whatever you want, but I just found that this all fit nicely onto my card in the way that I wanted it to be. Okay. Now we're going to take... Let's get these all put away before we have disasters, right? We've all been there. And one more. Gosh, I'm doing really good with, oh, <laughs> did you see that? I, was, I just totally jinxed myself. I'm like, oh, I'm doing really good with not getting ink all over. And then I stuck my fingers in it. I'm like, that's, <laughs> okay, let's try that again. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's why they make baby wipes. Okay. Uh, now, we've got all these dies. So let's bring these in here. And all my dies that I need are on the second sheet, I believe. Here comes the berries. Okay. And when I do my, you can use washi tape that you kind of put on your skin or your clothes a few times so it's not super sticky. But I like to use temporary tape. And washi tape, of course, would be temporary if you got some of the sticky off. But this is how I hold my stuff in place. And then I can do this one. And we're going to put some tape on there. And here's that little um, evergreen sprig. So we can do that one. And here is our little pine cone. There's a big pine cone and a little pine cone. This is the bigger one. See how much bigger that is than that one? So this is the bigger. We're making the little pine cones. So we're gonna run all of these through our die cutting machine. And of course, when we do that, we're gonna have all these pieces. Well, just like magic. Okay, let me put these back. I take this tape and I put it back on the edge of my machine and just use it over and over again. You do that with your washi tape or your temporary tape or whatever you use, but you can just keep using it over and over. Oops, hang on. Now we've got all of these cut out. Now we're gonna get them arranged on our card. And I'm gonna take this cherry cobbler layer and, oh, you need your card. Where did my card go? Does anybody see it? Oh, here it is, okay. Kind of need your card so that you don't get things sticking out from the edge of the card so that it won't fit in an envelope, okay? So we're going to just kind of take this and lay it right here. And we're going to bring in these pieces. So this is what I mean. You don't want this sticking way up there because then it's not going to fit in your envelope. But we're just going to kind of start arranging all of our bits and pieces in here. And because I've already made this card, I'm going to just glue these down. You're probably going to mess with them for a little bit until you figure out where you want everything, right? But I, this is my second go at this, so I should know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's not always the case, though, is it? <laughs> nope. She says she knows what she's doing, but does she really know what she's doing? But sometimes, not so much. Okay. And then I'm going to just keep going. And I'm just kind of spreading these things out, filling up the spaces. Here's my little evergreen sprig. I love this thing. I just think it's really cool. And again, just making sure you're not going over the edge of your card. Then I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push this one down quite a bit. Like this is, so here's my layer. I'm gonna make this quite a bit smaller. So I'm really putting a lot of it on my label. 
and then I'll put this one in. I gotta kind of see where the edge of my. Oh, there we go. That doesn't want to stay on there. I didn't get enough glue on it. Hang on. There we go. There we go. And then we'll do this pine cone. Okay, that's where this comes in. We're ready to roll with our label. And we're gonna bring this in here and we're gonna put it right in the center. That doesn't look very centery. And that looks better. Isn't that pretty? Super easy, right? Super pretty, love it. Okay, now we're gonna take this. When you put this on the front of your card, I'm gonna put mine down here kind of in the bottom right corner, but you don't wanna put any glue on the back up here where this is gonna be. You only want your glue to be from here down. Make sure I got this right. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and just run it right there because I know that my label is gonna go over that part. And here we go. We're gonna give it just a moment. Oh, I'm getting lots of hearts. Thank you guys so much. Yes, Tana says she loves the label idea. Denise says love it. Cindy says how cool is that? Okay, now. Before we do anything else, where did my, here's my rhinestones. Oh, Winkastella. We're gonna take a little bit of Winkastella because why wouldn't we? And we're gonna add it to our berries. Now, when you use Winkastella on red, it tends to bleed a little bit. So I want you to be aware of that because you don't wanna go color on a green with red on the end of your Winkastella, right? It's totally worth it. You could just wipe it off like I'm doing. Just wipe it off. And now you can see that glimmer on those berries is so pretty. I hope you guys can see that in the camera. It's beautiful. Then we're gonna take our rhinestones here. I'm gonna take a big rhinestone and I'll put it right down here. Oh, my sentiment looks kind of crooked now. Eh, that's gonna make me crazy. Just hang on, you know how I am. Okay, that's better. <laughs> and then we'll do, ooh, mm, mm. let's see. I think I'll do a couple right up here. There we got our rhinestones, okay. Now, what are we gonna use for our easel? What's gonna make that stand up like this? <gasps> this, oh my gosh, right? So watch this. This was my brainchild. You know how sometimes you think of things and you're like, oh my gosh, I thought of that. That's how I feel about this. Now, it's not anything earth shattering, but it was pretty cool. Haley thought it was pretty neat too. She's not easy to impress. So, gosh, I hear a train going through town. I never hear trains, that's so odd. But there's train noise at my house. Oh, that isn't big enough. I need bigger tails on my bow. So we're gonna tie a nice tight little bow. There we go. Oh, I have to tell you guys too. So Steve and I are gonna be going to Florida in February and we're gonna be there for the month. My cousin owns a condo and we've we're renting it from them. Don't worry, I'll still be working. Because <laughs> I can work from any place. But um, Jared and Val are coming down for the weekend. Ah, and Haley can't come. She's going to be too pregnant. Okay, so look how cute that little bow is. So I'm super excited about that. We just booked tickets for Jared and Valerie last night. And I'm just glad that Haley is like not being like, nah, if you can't go... I can't go, you can't go. You know what I mean? Because that would suck. This is going to be our easel. 
holder. So that's why I've got my mini glue dots out here. That's my big ta-da. <laughs> this is it. You're getting it right here. And <clears throat> if you find that your ribbon doesn't stay away from your sentiment, like if it covers it up, take some mini glue dots and put it under the tails and manipulate them to where you need them to go, okay? But how cute is this? Look at how cute that is. Ah, what do you guys think? Isn't that fun? So here's our cute little Christmas card. Now you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's too bulky. It really isn't. This ribbon is super thin. This closes right up. I don't think it's going to be a problem to mail because it's squishy. And I think it's going to work out just fine. Look at how cute that is, right? So this is a diagonal easel card. Here's another one that I made. And the only difference is... I used uh, certainly, or, oh my gosh, I just almost called it certainly celery. Rah! I used pear pizzazz for this label. Everything else is pretty much the same. Did the inside the same, little ribbon. Yeah, isn't that just the cutest thing ever? And then I wanted to show you where I got the idea from. I got the idea right here. I, I think this was a swap card. And... They used a little poinsettia flower and the ivy leaves and some gold or silver trim with some um, copper foil. Isn't this pretty? I also think for their pine cones that they use soft suede with um, early espresso ink, just so you know. And then mossy meadow with old olive or maybe pear pizzazz. I don't know. But anyways, this is where I got the idea from. And whatever you put in here, you wanna make sure that it's something that puffs up so that this card will catch on it so that when it sits on a table, it is like a beautiful display, right? Aren't these fun? Oh my gosh, I had so much fun making them. <laughs> okay, so hang on just a second. I gotta get a drink. I'm starting to perspire again. <laughs> <laughs> it is 822. I think I did pretty darn good. Whew. Good timing. Okay, so we've got this, our little easel card. Um, here's our envelope. Where are, uh, did you guys see our other card here somewhere? Like I told you, I was going to set it somewhere so I wouldn't lose it. Here it is. <laughs> A problem it's a serious issue <laughs> there we go so there's our cards from tonight oh where's our technique there's our technique card yeah let's um, I'll just put that right down here yay okay so are you guys ready to see my mail does anybody have any caught any any cards you guys all have cards right does anybody have any questions that I might have missed before I um, do anything else here I'm searching for stuff. I'm going to grab my mail. Okay. I'm watching for questions. Oh, thank you guys so much. I love all your wonderful comments. Everybody's loving these cards. Oh, you're so sweet. I just so appreciate you guys. You guys make me feel like a total rock star. <laughs> I love you. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't forget. If you need to order any supplies, I always appreciate your orders. You'll find my online store on my blog. And here is my current host code if your order's under $150. And if you're gonna place an order around $75, join my team. You can become a discount shopper, give it a try. You have nothing to lose, there are no strings attached. I had somebody pop me an email earlier today asking about the tax consequences of being a discount shopper. There are no tax consequences when you're a discount shopper. Only if you work a business and start earning money, okay? Um, when you discount shop, it's just a discount. It's not an income. So just know that. 
Thank you guys so much. I so appreciate all your wonderful comments. Gosh, I might be turning a little pink. <laughs> my head might be growing too, right? Okay, I'm gonna show you my mail. I got some beautiful stuff. First of all, this comes from Donna Johns. Let me move this out of the way. Will you look at this? That is that bedazzling paper. Like how gorgeous is that? With the artistically expressions and art, I believe expressions and art is what this paper is called from the artistically inked suite. Um, who asked the question? How would the recipient know it is? Oh, to make it an easel. Oh, okay. So that's a really good question. So they won't necessarily know to make it an easel, okay? But when you open a card and I don't know, you know, I don't know what non-card people think <laughs> because I can't, I can't even step into their shoes. <laughs> but when I, I mean, I've gotten cards from you guys where I didn't understand what they were supposed to do, but when I opened it, oh, and it bends, like, why would it bend? Well, will you look at that? You know what I mean? So you could actually, <laughs> Betty says the bow to hold up the card is phenomenal. I know, right? It was one of those things where I was like, oh my good Lord, look what I just thought of. Yeah, I was pretty proud of that. But anyways, um, you could actually put a little post-it note in here and you could say, um, this is an easel that is propped up on the bow. Or whatever but you could put a note in there but when I get cards that do things I'm always kind of futzing with them going what is this supposed to do why I don't understand why is this like this oh look at that will you look at how that sits there like that <laughs> do you guys ever do that oh my gosh yeah maybe it's just I, I know I'm extremely weird it's okay I've been that way all my life okay so back to Donna Johns Donna is one of my team members, and look at how beautiful. I love these little gems. These are our in-color gems. This is just incredibly beautiful. And um, she, okay, so listen to this little story. Hi, Kelly. I was at Cracker Barrel waiting on a table, so she was waiting to get seated, and saw this, and it called your name. Do you want to see what she got for me? Candy corn flavored licorice you guys candy corn flavored licorice yeah somebody else sent me a candy corn fudge recipe but this was one of the things that oh no this isn't one of the things that was in my pile of stuff so I got hmm she bought me two packs isn't that crazy Oh, Wendy, you're so sweet. Wendy says to any new watchers, joining Kelly Atchison's team is fun and the creativity is endless. The fellowship with other stampers is great and healthy for the spirit. You are so right, Wendy. You are such a blessing to my team. And also, Wendy's the one that got me the hot flash cooling mist. <laughs> okay, you guys. This is pretty good. So, thank you for that. I had to try it. Donna, you are the sweetest. Oh, look at her beautiful envelope, too. Right? Mm, gorgeous. Next up. I know Elaine's watching tonight. Elaine, your Halloween card, which I did get when you sent it, was one of the things that was sitting under my paper pumpkin box on my desk. So, that's why I haven't shown it till now. But look at how cute this is. Isn't that cool? Trick or treat, enjoy this fun season from Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. I love this. Very cool. And I got another um, Halloween card. And again, I did open this when I got it, but it was, you know, in that pile that got buried over there. <gasps> Look at all those little eyeballs on that tree. I love this. And this is from Sandy Young. And it says, enjoy your boo day. Congratulations on your recent trip to Utah. And thank you for sharing your trip with your fans. Oh, it was my pleasure. I love going on vacation virtually with people. I just love it. So I always like to share as much as I possibly can. All right. And here's another thing that was in the um, pile over there. Look at this. I think this is for scraps. Like... Well, I'm not going to throw that ratty thing in there, but 
this is to keep on your table to put your scraps in, which is really cool for me because guess what? My garbage can is under my desk and half the time when I throw stuff under there, it goes on the floor and then I have to crawl around in the floor and pick it all up, right? Because I'm missing my garbage can. I can leave this right here on my desk and throw all my little scraps in there. And two little acres. This is so cute. Isn't that just adorable? So let me tell you about it. Um, yeah, here's the card that came with it. And look at, there's that thing that I thought was a tassel. It's really a witch's room. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to those of you who told me that because I did not. I really didn't know it. <laughs> yeah, Elaine says she loves this basket. Me too. Okay, so look at how cute this is. This is from Sue Souza. And she says, thank you so much for your inspiration and motivation. You are truly a gift to all of us. I'm so happy to be part of your team. Um, Sue is thanking me for the linen thread and the stamp set that she won um, at our team meeting. Congratulations again on the celebration of your million dollars with Stampin' Up! Happy Halloween and enjoy the upcoming holiday season as well. Is she not so sweet? Look at how pretty that card is, you guys. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Sue. I am going to get very good use out of this, and I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Otherwise, I could fill it with candy corn and have it be a candy dish, but that might be, um, that probably won't be a good idea <laughs> because I'll eat all the candy corn. All right, you guys. Thank you so much once again for joining me. Um, I couldn't do this without you. I will make sure that I let you know what happens on Friday. Oh, Sue says you can use it for whatever. She made it. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Do you know that I just was sewing too? I made Val's Halloween costume. I made her blaze orange best. And so, Sue, I didn't know you are, were a sewer or seamstress. I am also a sewer or seamstress. I, I always feel like calling myself a seamstress is like pushing it a little too fancy. Um, but I really can make anything with a sewing machine. Like I'm, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> I started sewing when I was probably 12 years old and I made all of my dad's shirts. He would only wear Western shirts and I made all of his shirts. So every year he got four new shirts from me. He got one for Father's Day, one for his birthday and two for Christmas every year. And that's all he would wear was my Western shirt. So that was kind of fun. When my dad passed away, I took some of his shirts and I made pillows with them and gave them to all of his grandchildren and, um, and my sister. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So we all have pillows from my dad's shirts and they actually still smell like him. So that's pretty neat too. So there you go. A little walk down, um, whatever, what do you call that? The lane nostalgia. I don't know. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much. I will make sure that I let you know what happens with the awards on, um, Friday night. I'm excited. I'm excited for some of my demonstrator friends who have had just outstanding years. You know, last year was really my biggest career year, um, with coming up to my million dollars and you guys all helped me celebrate that and helped me get to that so quickly that um, this year's been just a little, a little, not quite as frantic as last year. So it's slowed down a little bit and that's okay. But um, I will let you guys know where my numbers are because I know that's always exciting. I like to hear where everybody's numbers are. I've got some of my demonstrator friends that I'm really rooting for because they've had some outstanding years and it'll be fun. It'll be a lot of fun. I have, um, I have my stats from last year. Oh, here, let's see. I'll be able to read my stats from last year to you guys because I have them right here. Last year's stats um, for sales, I was number 14 in the country. For team building, I was number two in the country. For leadership, I was number two overall. In the U.S., I was number five. And in the top 100 for the whole world, I was number six. Oh, my good Lord. Isn't that crazy? So, anyways, I'll be able to tell you guys um, next Sunday all the good things that happen. So, woohoo! I know. Donna says, can't wait to see your rankings. Donna, I'm rooting for you. Donna Gray is one of my friends from um, Australia. She's a demonstrator there. 
And uh, yeah, we're like, we root for each other. So I'm like, oh, Donna, I hope you like really do, um, do great with your numbers too. So thank you so much. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I got to pee. Too much information. I know. I'm really good for that. I will be back next Sunday. And that is November 14th at 7 p.m. Central Time. And um, I already have some projects planned. I, I might be doing a gift card, but you know, anything could change. I just want you to know that. But I think I'll be doing um, at least one gift card and some other stuff. Don't know what yet. But we'll probably be playing again with the gardens, the gardens Eden. How about that? Eden's garden. So um, th that'll be fun. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to eat the rest of my candy corn flavored licorice. Thank you, Donna Johns. Thank you, Sue Souza. Thank you, Elaine and Sandy for the cards. They are smashingly fun, beautiful. I love getting cards. Do you guys love? I love getting cards. So thank you guys so much. Have yourselves a wonderful week and I'll see you back here on Sunday. Bye-bye.